On this episode of Restoring in 1974 West Cell 32, we ground away all evidence of hydrolysis in the hole. We scrape away the last of the ablative paint, prepare the surface for fairing, investigate delamination due to the hurricane, sand, fair, and fiberglass, 97 different damaged spots of the hole and much, much more as we prepare this West Cell 32 to be painted. So I have a pretty busy day today. It's gonna to be a good one. We can come into this area where it was buckled on the inside. We knock this down. So I'm excited to get to knock a lot of this down. This um, looks like evidence of hydrolysis within the laminate. So it's appearing as this sort of fiber whiting. So like a normal or healthy laminate, this fabric, um, the fibers, that is to say, below the surface, they'll be translucent or even unnoticeable, uh, especially when they're wet. And you know, when we put a little bit of denatured alcohol in this to clean it, you see that we need to knock this down a little bit more. So that's likely dock rub over the years, uh, sort of other, maybe impacts in other areas of the boat. As I mentioned before, we have the fiber whiting here where we have evidence of hydrolysis. So I'm pretty excited about today. We can finally, finally, finally do the final touches to prep this hole for painting. The temperature's warm enough. We have uh, tons of materials, tools. We're bringing all the heavy hitters today. We would need to knock down two parts of the boat uh, beneath the water line where there's a lot of hydrolysis damage or evidence of that. We also need to knock down the area on the port side where there's buckling underneath the table. So follow along, we will get those two things done. We need to, uh, of course, scrape the boat. Uh, a lot of the blade of paint are still peeling off. So we'll scrape the boat, wash the boat, uh, ferret in areas where we don't need the glass, fiberglass areas we need a fiberglass, and it's pretty much leaving it alone. I think structurally there's, there's nothing wrong with the boat. Uh, the, those were the biggest concerns, and we're going to fix them. We're just going to put everything on time lapse. We got a, a lot to get done, but thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe. Starting here, just the boat's been able to dry, and the ablative paint, or sort of these old layers, really coming off. So we will continue to chip that away. Get the boat a nice little wash. We're here by the set tea table. We're gonna just double check the relative area we need to sand down to check for any sort of damage to the fiberglass. So here on the inside, we had, if you recall, the glass buckling. I mean, this is the foam. You know what? I wonder. Because if it's just if it's just insulation, then maybe I made a big deal out of nothing. At least I got invaluable advice from from Bud. 
about how to repair it. I mean, he mentioned a West cell was, he mentioned how a freight ship ran into a West cell, put a big old hole in it, and they were able to repair it. It's been going strong for 40 years now. So, I mean, we let's take a look. I mean, we can try to look, but I, I just think it, maybe the insulation in this fiberglass buckle, there's a, Let's shine a light through it and I'm hoping that will allow us to see any damage. I, I'm hoping it's just the insulation that broke. So even though I'm about to sand uh, all these spots that I just sort of brushed unthickened epoxy on, I want to just clean them up. In the past I've used acetone that will work. And this here is just denatured alcohol. And as the cloth dirties up, obviously, you want to switch over to a different one. The reason for this is just to not spread contaminants from spot to spot. I was pretty ambitious with trying to get the boat painted, but I think I'm coming back to it with a lot better understanding of what to look for and just sort of nuanced ways where the uh, blade of paint cracks and 
that could be a, another sort of area to repair. So I've caught a few more that I missed originally, but I think now I have the hole in really great shape um, and prepared the right way to, there's a lot to do, but we're getting a lot done. So this is sort of the finished mix of Total Fair. Part A and Part B, you'll get sort of this olive green color. It's recommended that you wait 48 hours before you sand and apply an overcoat. So we're gonna get the painting this weekend if we sort of time all this correctly, all right? So the olive green is all the different little spots where we applied total boat, total fair. So this is thick and epoxy. And some areas are were grinded out a little bit more to get all the damaged glass. So those will have to be built back up with fiberglass. So really the next step is to sand the cure surface, wipe it clean, and it'll be ready to paint the primer. The Interlux 2000E. Now, I already know in some areas I'm going to have to ferret some more because, you know, I, I went heavy because I don't mind sanding it. But at the same time, some areas were just a little deeper and I don't mind having to come back and build those up. So this is a lot of fiberglass. Here's my secret weapon to cut it. So here's my process. We've dished it out. It's 12 to one. And then we will, of course, have our, we're gonna go largest to smallest, but we're gonna need two large ones. Um, so we'll go large all the way down to small and then one final large one, and then pill ply. So the, kind of help us get, this really helps us get where it is. And just like that. So we have everything diagrammed on the plastic wrap. And there is really no need to rush this. But you need everything in place. So I've labeled everything in chalk. Labeled all the patterns and as well. But again, do not rush this. You know, you want whole repairs to be done right and you need all your materials ready to go you simply cannot work with epoxy fast enough Speak. 
kicking but mention um, something about the hardener if you see it starting to go red it's getting old so mine this is kind of a pink so that it's still okay to use but just in case you ever saw that and you freaked out <laughs> um, it's still West System says it's still okay to use. So I'm sure I'll be going through the rest of these containers for work on the inside. All right, the pill ply is on. We have these 12 serious spots taken care of. And super windy out. Need a little extra tape. Most are around the bottom. We got damages here. They're pretty significant. And again, right here. It's a large area. And here on the starboard side, a few spots. A large one up here. So, we'll let this all cure. Have the satisfactory uh, rip off of the pill ply.